Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I would like to welcome you into the kitchen on this chilly day where we're going to mix up some herbal tea. I am happy to announce that I can. I am finally set up to where I can start selling my herbal tea mixes as well. So for those who have been wanting me to sell herbal tea, I'm ready now. All right, this one is called what I affectionately call lung relief. For those of us who are chest or congested um, from mucus that has drained from our sinuses into our chest, and we're needing to get it out to cough it out. And it's also going to have an effect on helping to relieve your sinuses and as well to get all the mucus out of your system. So let's get busy mixing. Okay, in my big bowl here, I am going to mix up the tea. The first ingredient is going to be organic mullein leaves from Mountain Rose Herbs. And mullein is fluffy. So I want to make sure, yep, yeah, that is two cups worth of mullein leaves. And make sure that your workspace is clean and sanitized. That way any that spills out you can scoop it up and use it so there's no waste. I'm going to get any big sticks out of it. I am so thankful to finally be able to sell my tea mixes and I'm also using this for myself as well who it got dark hold on a minute sorry y'all I had to cut on some more lights it got really dark now the first one is of course the mullein that was two cups packed you have to push it down and you're gonna have to break it all up next one it's going to be peppermint. It's going to help you to breathe better. It's going to help to uh, soothe your throat. And it does have vitamin C in it. And I want... Two cups of the peppermint. Oh, that smells so good. And yes, it's organic peppermint. Everything is organic. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, I saw. There it is. Next one, another wonderful, it helps break up mucus to bring it forward. It does help soothe dry coughs, poor hound. Now, it is a bitter, what's considered a bitter herb, but it works wonders, y'all. cups of it as well. I'm trying to keep all my ingredients as equal as possible so one doesn't overrun the other. I'm 
like I said, that was two cups of good whorehound. That's an old, old remedy for chest complaints, coughing, and excessive mucus. You want to make sure that you get it mixed very well. Break up any bigger pieces. Let me tell you, that is a delight to smell. Now, my herbal tea bags are a whole lot bigger than what you buy in the store. And you get way more, <coughs> excuse me, per package or per tea bag. There's no glue used in the tea bags. They are unbleached. They are all natural. And what I want is a good heaping tablespoon per tea bag. And what you're going to do is you close your bag up. Be gentle with them because they can rip. And you want to bring that knot right up there so that is closed really good. See how much medicinal tea is in that bag. All right, since I need a dose of it myself, I'm gonna go heat me some water up and I'll bring y'all right back. Okay, extremely hot water. I'm gonna add my tea bag in. I decided to go with a pint jar. That way y'all can see what it looks like. We'll make sure that your ingredients, your herbal tea gets, the bag gets soaked. Put a lid on our saucer on it. So that it can steep without your medicinal benefits floating out of the water in the steam vapors. And I'm going to let that steep 15 to 20 minutes. All right now, if you use a regular size cup, you should be able to get two brewings out of it the second brewing will just not be quite as strong as the first but there's plenty in there for a second brew i'm gonna move, bring my bags over here i got my jar to put my tea bags in and i'm gonna do a couple more bags to show you you open your bag gently. You get a good heaping tablespoon of the tea blend. Now, another good thing about the tea bags. Mullen is notorious for little bitty tiny hairs on the leaves. The tea bag will keep those hairs from coming through into your tea. I'm going to retie that one. I like my knots to be right up where I have it closed at. There we go. 
and there's another tea bag. Now, like I said, these, yes, these are for sale. I'm asking a dollar a piece because they're a whole lot bigger than what most people are used to getting. Good healthy tablespoonful. And if some of it bounces out, just scoop a little more in there. And just gently pull that drawstring through. And tying it keeps it from being able to work its way back loose. But look at that beautiful tea bag. It's not hard to do. You just have to take your time. And that thing, make sure that your tea bag doesn't touch into the tea mix. Because mullein hair can get onto that. And it kind of just defeats the purpose of why you're being careful to keep the mullein hair from escaping the tea bags. And there's another one. Alright. I'm going to keep making tea bags. And I will bring you back as soon as the tea is ready. See you after a bit. Alright. I have two beautiful glass jars full of lung relief tea bags have a little bit left but I have plenty more that I can mix up now I tell y'all I take what I make look how beautiful that has become now you want to be very careful when squeezing your tea bag because you got to remember, these tea bags are not glued together. They're put together by steam. And I can feel and tell that, yes, that tea bag has more life in it. So I will be making a second brew from that. Of course, it won't be as strong, but it will still have medicinal benefits in it. And this is local honey. Yes, I like my tea sweet. Not ungodly sweet, but I also want the honey, as y'all can tell, in my throat. I'd like to get my voice back. And of course, you don't have to use honey. You can drink it as is. And like I said, it has a bitter in it. The whorehound, it will be bitter. So, I mean, it's not going to be so bad. It's going to gag you, but it's bitter. And bitters are amazing herbs. Amazing medicinals. A lot of times your bitters are stronger then your other herbals. Now, if you don't want to use honey, you can leave it unsweetened. You can add also blackstrap molasses, which will also give you a massive dose of potassium, magnesium, iron, and many, many other vitamins and minerals as well. 
Cheers. Yep, that's a strong, strong thing of tea. Whew. But I didn't put that much honey in it. That's going to work. Now, the reason I waited to do and get the tea bags done before I started drinking this is there's a good chance that the fluid and everything that's in my lungs is going to break up. And I will start coughing it up. I do not want to be doing that when I'm making the tea up. Now, I'm not sick. I'm not contagious. It's just that my sinuses are still draining. And I still have some mucus build up in my lungs. Not going to have it for much longer. Now, do not think this is going to be a... Fruity floral tea. It's not. Because there's peppermint in it. Which is helping me to breathe. There's mullein in it. And there's whorehound. That's all that's in it. Besides the honey. The local honey I just put in it. This is going to be wonderful. To clear this all up. And get everything out. Now. You can take this every four to six hours as needed. Um, don't go wild with it because you might be hacking up a whole lot more than you think. But every four to six hours is fine or as needed because I know it works. I've used it many times before. I hope you've enjoyed this video and just know that I am finally in to where I can sell my herbal teas, my salves, and my tinctures. So you just have to contact me. Let me know in the comment section below or shoot me a, um email. Let me know how many you're needing and I will get back to you. Everyone, y'all stay safe and sound. This world's getting crazier day by day. Let's continue to stock up your pantries with food that will sustain and nourish you. Medicinals that will heal you. Protection of all kinds and the bare necessities to survive on. I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video. And may you each be blessed. Hoot hoot. Y'all take care.